Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Superman Lois Season 2. Today we're going to be reviewing last night's episode, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any future DCTV videos later this year. So we are back with Superman Lois videos. I missed last week's episode, I wasn't able to review it, I've been super busy. However, we are back and we got this review today, so stick around for the whole video to see my full breakdown because this episode so much happened and I'm really excited to talk about it. So this episode was directed by David Ramsey, of course you guys know him from Arrow. And also he is the only Superman Lois crossover to actually appear, you know, someone from the Arrowverse that has appeared on the show since it started. So he didn't actually show up in this episode, but there has been rumours that maybe he's going to show up in a later episode, later along the line in this season. But yeah, he did a really good job directing this episode, I think this episode was really good actually one of my favorites in quite a while now. I thought it was really solid overall, but let's go ahead and break it down bit by bit, starting at the start of the episode. So we have Bizarro Jonathan, who comes for Jonathan. Obviously, the previous episode was kind of like a flashback episode, establishing everything in the Bizarro world and those characters. So now we know them more, especially Jonathan L, as they've been calling him, aka Bizarro Jonathan. And so at the start of this episode, we have Bizarro Jonathan, who comes for our Jonathan, obviously by storming into the farm, and then at one point, they try and merge together, while Bizarro Jonathan forces him, and it looks like it's going fully through, and he's about to be successful, but then, you know, he's unsuccessful when Superman whizzes in to save the day, and he's able to temporarily stop him, and Jonathan L's like, I'll be back. And so just after this, Clark actually goes after Bizarro Jonathan, because our version of Jonathan is getting the headaches like Clark had with Bizarro Superman, and so he finds out where he is, he's outside the diner, and he's looking in on Lana, and we find out later just shortly after why he's looking at Lana. At first I was like, hmm, why would he be at the diner? And I see that Lana's there, so is it something to do with her? And then it all clocks later in the episode exactly why he's looking after Lana. And so Clark goes after him, but he is interrupted by Lana and it's very awkward. Lana later in the episode talks to Sarah and she's like, oh, Clark was weird, like he didn't want to talk to me, also he's been gone, he didn't even acknowledge that I was elected mayor of Smallville, obviously because Clark is like her biggest supporter, it was weird. But then as Lana walks across the street, Clark realizes, oh Jonathan's gone, like what the hell is he doing, like they still haven't figured everything out. But then just after this we have Jordan who writes a letter to Sarah after talking to his mum, and basically Lois convinces him to write that letter and she thinks it might be a good way to kind of get his thoughts out there and also try and reach out to Sarah, but that doesn't go well. Later in the episode, when Jordan tries to give it to her, she pretty much just straight up dismisses him. But shortly after this, Sarah meets Bizarro Jonathan, he like drops in out of nowhere and he gives like little hints. But Sarah doesn't clock it at first, like that this is not our Jonathan, but just that he was acting all weird, he was kind of like flexing on her, it was, yeah, very strange. And so they briefly chat, and you're like, okay, he's an asshole, but why is he here? Well, you realise, just after that, when he walks into Sarah's home and Lana's home, that he is actually here for Lana, and so he meets Lana, and literally smashes her, knocks her out into the cupboard, and you know, that's Lana gone for most of the episode, and Sarah freaks out later in the episode, she's like, where is Lana, like, where's my mum, I, she's supposed to be at all of these meetings, and she's supposed to be here, and she should have called me, but she's disappeared, but we know, you know, Jonathan has her, well, not our Jonathan, obviously, but basically, he holds her hostage, and basically uses her as bait to get Superman here, so he can incapacitate Superman. And he's just waiting for his version of Lana to come over to our Earth and try to merge with Lana. And that's why he has her held hostage in anticipation for his partner's arrival. You know, partner is in, you know, a supervillain partner. And so Lois talks to Sarah after this and she realizes that Jonathan has Lana because she went home and, you know, Sarah was like, oh, what the hell, like, where is my mum, like I just explained. And just after Sarah has that, like, mini little moment with Jordan where he gets rejected, 
Jonathan reveals that he's from another world and that is to Lana and Lana's like oh what is going on here she's very confused at this point and then Clark and Lois begin to argue about keeping their identity secret you know in terms of their relationship to being you know Superman of course and so you kind of know and you feel in this episode that they're teasing they're building up to some sort of big reveal with especially Lana and potentially Sarah very soon because everything is going wrong and it's all because of them holding back their identity and I mean if you look at the episode before that was a whole big thing about you know showing that other bizarro family where you see what went wrong with our alternate versions of our characters and their family dynamic on that other world where they're very open and you know they're all into this kind of glamorous lifestyle and you know they don't really care about being human and being normal but they care about you know the glitz and glamour but that's obviously changed towards the end of last episode where you get you know Jordan and Lois turning on Bizarro Superman and Bizarro Superman eventually coming back and being like okay I'm going to go to this earth and try and stop Ali in order to save everyone and rectify some of my mistakes but obviously that doesn't end well for him but he tried and so with this they basically reveal Clark and Lois that you know, they need to trust their family more. They really do need that trust, and that trust hasn't been there. I mean, that's the whole thing. A lot of the drama on the show is centered around, you know, them all keeping secrets from each other. Just look at what Jonathan did recently with not revealing who was the ex-Kryptonite dealer, and the fact that they were mad at him for like two, three episodes. It was quite a while, so yeah, that's just a common theme. And so Superman basically gets hit by Kryptonite when he shows up to try and save Lana, when Jonathan has one of his headaches, he reveals the location where they're at. But at the same time, at this point, we have Natalie and John Henry Irons who are in the mines. They're trying to power up his suit and his hammer, and they're trying to find an alternate source of energy. And at that point, Lana from Bizarro World shows up and kicks their ass. However, she is able to be deterred by Natalie, who stabs her with some ex kryptonite and she goes back through the portal but basically at that point she was this close to making it through and actually finding our version of Lana and maybe trying to merge with her but as this is happening down in the mines we have two other fights we have Superboy versus Superboy and then also we have Lana helping Superman but let's talk about that Superboy fight it was awesome I absolutely loved it I was freaking out especially when Jordan got the upper hand right at the end he sort of stopped his fist he sent him flying up into the air, they were fighting in the sky over the clouds and it was just so great to see Jordan actually being powerful because he is powerful and he's been training and this is what he's been leading up to and he's able to actually defeat his brother from Bizarro World in order to save our version of Jonathan. I thought it was very very well done and I love the kind of message it sent like Jordan is here and he is going to protect his family no matter the cost. And just as that happens, as Superboy is falling down through the sky, both of them, of course, and, you know, Jordan's flying, which is great, but he does kind of freak out, and, you know, that kind of panic in that moment leads him to fall down, but Superman gets out because Lana had been taking the kryptonite shards out of him, and so he was basically able to regenerate and heal. doesn't have, like, the holes and stuff in his chest anymore. That's just, you know, a Superman thing, I guess. But yeah, so Lana was able to save Superman and she's a bit of a hero in this instance. And then, you know, after all of this, we have a talk between Lana and Superman and they just talk about what happened. And Lana seems like very happy and, you know, kind of a bit overwhelmed about what happened. And she even invites Superman inside. And so you can tell that this was a different kind of moment and that it was leading to something even greater. And so let's move on from here and talk about what happens towards the end of the episode. So we have Lois who finds out that Jordan was going to reveal his identity to Sarah through this letter because she reads it and she freaks out and that's just a continuing thing like Lois and Clark are adamant against revealing their identity but at this point Clark walks into the room and he's like Lana will not be safe and basically he asks the family is it okay if I reveal my identity to Lana in order to protect her and so Clark is extremely scared you can see the look on his face 
it's not anything that he thought he would ever have to do. He's always done this to try and protect his friends, his family, and Lana is someone that he really cares about. And so it's so great that they finally do this. So Clark flies up into the air after meeting Lana and Lana's like, oh, I've had such a long day. How the hell did you find me? And she was like, you have no idea what I've been through. And he was like, I do. I know what you've been through because I was there. And she's like, huh? And at that point, Clark takes his glasses off. He get that shot of the glasses. And then he slowly starts to levitate up into the air. And just the look on Lana's face, she's like, oh my god. And so it's as Clark reveals his identity to her as Superman. Wow, that was a chills moment. I got chills right now just thinking about it. I absolutely loved it. The music, the cinematography, just everything that was going on in that moment was so perfect that I was just so excited for what is going to be happening, you know, in the next episodes. What's coming next with... Now, Lana knowing that Clark is Superman, finally, after knowing her for such a long time and having such a strong connection to her, now she finally knows Clark is Superman, so she has to start suspecting, what about the boys? Are they superpowered? And I would presume she's going to know that Jordan has superpowers, and that's why he's been so distant, and so you can presume they're going to reveal this to Sarah, because they need to trust Sarah, and... It's a high possibility that Lana is going to tell Sarah about this, and so I don't know where that leaves Jordan and Sarah, but that gives an explanation for why Jordan has been the way that he's been. So I'm really excited to see how this all pans out in the next couple of episodes. So what did you guys think about this episode? Let me know down in the comments down below. Please be sure to also leave a like, it really helps out the channel. Also, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. Share the video around online and tell your friends about it if they watch Superman Lois and, you know, they want the ins and outs of this specific episode and whatever episodes are coming next. Tell them to subscribe to the channel and check out the videos. That would be awesome if you guys could do that. Also, we have lots of cool videos planned. There was just an announcement that in the Flashes finale, there's going to be a big cameo. We're going to be making a video on that sometime in the next couple of days. Also, we have the Flash later tonight. We're going to be making a video for that tomorrow. It's not going to come out straight away after the episode comes out, but it'll be out about the same time as this, so like 24 hours later. So stick around for that. I can't wait to talk about The Flash, and obviously Superman Lois next week is still one as far as I'm aware. So, lots of stuff, but for now, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.